Show me vegans. <laughs> Do they know we're vegan? <laughs> Damn, look at this spot. Oh, that's a good one. That's a decent hey, one. Let me tell you if you're vegan. I'm gonna tell you we're vegan. <laughs> I know we haven't met before, but I'm gonna tell you I'm vegan. This is what we do on our day off. <laughs> we just tell people that we're vegan. Yeah, we're vegan. They know we're vegan. Yeah, just Bye. parking spot because we're vegan. Because we're vegan. <laughs> I see you guys are talking, but let me interject. <laughs> we're vegan. <laughs> Get out of the car. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> brag on myself for a minute. Oh my gosh. What? How much are you getting? Half. Half. I'll give you a little bit. No, 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 no. I'm good. Because well, I have to pick all the stuff no out. No onions. I made Indian food. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. Yeah, not that one, but that one. Either one. Look at that. So the rice is a cilantro garlic rice. And then what we do is you spoon this on top and you eat it, but it's a mushroom masala with seasoned tofu. And then this is a vegan naan bread with earth balance butter on it. And I've already tasted this. He doesn't even know what his taste buds are in for. Pretty Hurry soon. up and finish. I know, we're gonna go eat this, but I just had to brag on myself give myself a little pat on the back because I can officially cook now and it's pretty awesome. I think it's safe to say if you go vegan you automatically can cook because I couldn't cook before <laughs> and now that I'm vegan I can I'm well, a bomb ass cook so. That's the case for you I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's magic. Maybe it's Maybelline. Oh okay. Nice. <laughs> Bye. A little plug in there. Yeah but it's not Maybelline because Maybelline's not vegan. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another reverse diet update. Um, this week, I think I'm officially 11 weeks or 12 weeks post-show. Everything that's going on, the holidays are finally coming to a close. Everything is slowing down. Um, you know, I know my footage was kind of random leading through Christmas time. It was a bunch of footage that I already had, so um, put together videos because I do want to keep putting out content for you guys, so be sure and always leave me feedback in the comment section um, if you want to see anything in particular. So uh, as you guys know, if you've been following along with my vlogs, I ate too much on Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and it did leave me a few pounds up from uh, before the holidays. So um, I've been back on track moving forward, but with my um, updates that I sent to my coach, my progress pictures, um, he did say that we're going to keep my macros where they're at and see how my body responds after a week of being back on track and consistent. So protein is still at 125, fats are at 40, and then I've got two days of 340 carbs and five days of 200 carbs. So a lot better than what they were when I immediately finished the show. I'm so thankful for that, but I still am hungry. Um, I wake up very hungry. I eat a lot throughout the day and then I always like to eat before um, something sweet at night before we go to bed. So I've been having to figure out how to balance that. Um, I've been kind of going really carb heavy for breakfast. I don't know why. I guess because we, we work out in the morning and then I have lots of carbs after we work out. I just love breakfast and oatmeal, so. Um, but yeah, things are going well, back and consistent, and uh, workouts are going well. We've been climbing a lot more and I've been seeing some great improvements in the rock gym. Um, I also did let my coach know that um, instead of a show, I will, will be doing a photo shoot. So fitness inspired photo shoot. So I'll still have a prep. Um, in essence, it'll still be a prepping process. Um, I'll probably do it around April or so. 
and it's going to be a fitness inspired photo shoot. So I'm going to get some, uh, I don't know, cute new workout clothes, probably take some good pictures outside, uh, less in the gym itself. Cause I kind of want a different style of picture other than just what I had before my, you know, gym lifting pictures. Um, and then I do want to try and get some of a climbing trip that we're hoping to take. Uh, we haven't ironed out any of the details on the climbing trip yet. Uh, so of course I'll keep you guys updated on what we decide, but hoping to get some pretty cool pictures out while we're uh, enjoying our trip as well. So I let him know about that and he said as far as a prep goes, um, we wouldn't really need to do much prepping at this point, but of course we do want to keep increasing my intake. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with my body in the meantime. I do think that I'm getting to a point where my weight is going to keep slowly increasing. So that'll be a whole mindset change. But other than that, he said that the actual prep for the photo shoot is shouldn't be difficult because I've been so consistent after my show. He said, if anything, we'll just throw in a few uh, lower days throughout the week, throw in a few hit sessions, and then that'll be it. So not too worried about that. So I'm really excited. Not gonna lie, I do want more food. I was kind of sad that we didn't increase, but it makes sense because I wasn't consistent. So continuing forward with this week, back on that consistency train, the new year is here. So I don't know. I, I think that Matt and I will do a video recapping our 2015 and maybe talking about a 2016 goals. So stay tuned for that. Just came up with that. And of course, hit that thumbs up and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Make cakes. How's it going, guys? Hey. Hey. Uh, you guys, this is bananas. How good this is. No, we're not eating bananas. I have, a, oh my gosh. You have clarify. Speaking of bananas, I've, I have three bananas in my diet today. Boom. And then no one cared. What this are you talking is, about? <laughs> uh, bananas. This is okay. bullshit. Like, how good this is. So how back there? Ooh, this chili. <laughs> Oh, it's Taco Bell back there. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a massive bowl of vegan chili. Oh, it's so good. But this is the money shot. That's that. I would rephrase that. Did you really just use that phrase? <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> just keep going. Burrito. <laughs> Please tell me you're gonna cut half of that out. <laughs> I got my Taco Bell burrito. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm stuck on this with the phrase. Keep going. <laughs> so that's gonna cool. Pretty, pretty amped about it. That burrito is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty good. Dude. I know. I wish you didn't taste it and just was like, oh, you know, I don't Dude. want it. I'll give it to you. So that's my dinner. Good night, guys. <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs>
letting his rooster just roam around. <laughs> he's in the parking lot and he's on a cell phone. He's got like an old van. It looks like he's like living out of a van. They're actually called dirt bags. By the That's river. what they call them ever since uh, the owner of Patagonia. Oh really? Started it. Yeah, they call him dirt bag. He's just standing there on the phone. <laughs> He's always walking around the parking lot. He's just watching. It's right there. I know. Matt won't let me go pet it. It looks awesome. I know. I'm like, it's like bright, go. bright green I'm petters. Go. I'm going to go pet it. I'm not going to let you pet another man's rooster. I don't think it was his, but it was awesome. I wanted to pet it, but Matt wouldn't let me. We are climbing today. We're going to the bouldering gym, and it's a gorgeous day. We're going to go spend it bouldering inside. And then we're going to go see a movie at Alma Draft House, Hateful Eight. It's going to be awesome. And I'm not tracking my food today. <laughs> 